One question that often stumbles a lot of students in their pursuit of education is this question around, do I have relatives in the US? There are two distinct places this question is asked. One, you're asked this question in your visa application on the DS-160. It's a two-part question. And you can also be asked this question in your visa interview. Do you have relatives in the US? The reason why this question is asked, to understand, are you an immigration risk? Are you an intending immigrant? Statistically speaking, students who have family here in the US have more option to stay back. They have a home to stay. They have other people to help them find possible employment, whether legally or illegally. That's what they're trying to understand. Do you have a support system here in the US that may allow you to violate the regulations of your F1 student status? So let's dissect it. There's blood relatives and there's distant relatives. Blood relatives are your siblings, brother, sister, or your parents. You should absolutely disclose that 100%. More than likely, the US government has information about them anyway. The US is exceptional with tracking and accumulating data about every single individual in the US and abroad, especially if it's about known associates and unknown associates about people residing in the US. So blood relative, absolutely mention it. Now, if you have distant relatives, the question is, are you in close contact with them? Are you on weekly calls or biweekly calls with your distant relatives? Or are you staying at your distant relatives' homes when you go to the US? Maybe your distant relatives are close to the university you've selected. For all those reasons and all those scenarios, I would absolutely disclose those distant relatives. It's a yes or no question, and you can say, yes, I do have distant relatives. Now, what about distant relatives that you've only heard of, you don't really know who they are or what they're doing. And the quick litmus test on this is, if you kind of sort of know that you have a distant relative, but you don't even know what they're doing in the US, I wouldn't really mention it. To me, that's not a distant relative. That's just somebody that you kind of sort of know. And in, in our ever globalized society that we live in, there are people in the very periphery of our family tree that's going to be dispersed around the world and you're not planning on keeping in touch with them, you haven't kept in touch with them, and that's not going to change when you go to the US. So for those, my personal opinion on this is, the answer will be no, you don't even know what they do. And that's important because if you answer yes, the visa officer could say, okay, well, what do they do? And if you don't know, then that looks odd. So if you do have distant relatives and you're in close contact with them, absolutely say yes. If you have distant relatives, you have absolutely no idea what they've been up to, then the answer can be no. Now, if you have a blood relative that either has a green card or a US citizenship, that further complicates things because a blood relative can potentially sponsor you. You'll have to wait many, many years to get that sponsorship, but they can sponsor you nonetheless. So to find out how to answer scenarios or questions when you do have a blood relative that's either a permanent resident or a citizen, or to discuss your particular case, come find me on americancolleges.com and let's have a deeper discussion around how can you address or navigate that labyrinth.